Welcome to this video about globalization and localization in place of server. What is globalization? Globalization is the process of writing an application in a such a way that it can be accessed from uh, people with different uh, cultures, meaning different languages. And localiza localization is the process of determining for, uh, which uh, language a uh, user wants to, to see on a page and persisting uh, this information. And this happens mostly in a cookie, and it will also happen in a cookie in this uh, example. So I will start here in the configure services. Uh, here I have to uh, configure the, the whole process. So I'm adding uh, services at localization. Now, here I have to pass the options. And with the options, uh, it's meaning the resource path of the uh, of the folders in which we will store the different uh, strings according to the languages. So I'm just going to create this folder now. Resources. Now in the middleware, I have to uh, register uh, to add the middleware. Call it var localize options now new request localization options i have to set the default culture so uh, meaning the culture that is going to be used when the user doesn't bring a cookie or the user has a browser default with a culture that we don't provide now i have to give uh, all the available cultures because it takes a, par a params as a an argument I can just read it out. So our application will only have two available cultures, uh, meaning English and French. I uh, have also to uh, add add support UI cultures. Here the same story. Putting these two in. Um, as you may know, uh, when we write middleware, the localization is important. So this middleware has to, well, not this middleware, this is just a configuration, but this middleware use request localization has to come uh, before the routing. And here we are just passing the request localization object. So let's create the, the resource files because we are using, because we are going to use the resources uh, in the index page, I have to create here a, a subfolder pages. Now, now the naming of this resource file is very important. I have to name it index dot. This works with uh, key value pairs. It's uh, comparable to a dictionary. And actually, the, the retrieving of the elements works just as we would expect from a dictionary. And I'm just saying welcome to our app. Now, creating the second resource file index. The key will be greeting again. Bonjour et bienvenue. Could uh, very well be that I spelled it wrong. So now in the index page, we have to first inject I string localizer, give it the, the parameter uh, index, call it localizer. And as I promised, it works just like a dictionary. Uh, localizer, we passed uh, the key, the greeting. Go to definition. Okay, I string localizer. 
Okay, it doesn't inherit from from my dictionary, but here we see the the uh, the indexer. So the indexer allows us to build an object in a way that it works like a dictionary. So uh, now, of course, we also have uh, a way. We have to provide a way for the user to change the request culture. If you leave it at that, uh, if the user comes with uh, browser defaults of uh, French, then it, he will see it French. And if he comes with another default, he will, he will see it in English because it's the default. To change the culture, I'm going to add a controller. Therefore, I have to register it here in the endpoints method so that the, the routing table knows about them. Adding controller, I call it uh, culture. Delete the API. As you may know, uh, if you don't specify an HTTP uh, method or HTTP uh, verb, it will just treat it as a get. Uh, so that's okay for uh, for our case. Now. I could just hard code it too, but I uh, think I can do something a bit more sophisticated. We can retrieve the, the culture from the, the HTTP context. Now, if you write a cookie, we always have to go to the response uh, object, cookies, and then we can append. Now, uh, there is a way to change the, the name of the cookie, of the localization cookie, but uh, it's not as easy as you might expect. And therefore, I have uh, attached the link in the video description because it would uh, be a bit too much for this tutorial. Now, so that's just the default name, which is uh, which defaults to asp.core.culture. Now. Here yeah, I'm calling the static method. I am having to pass the request culture. Now we come a bit to the tricky part of it. Uh, here I'm going to create the array of our provided cultures with first the English version and then French. And now Okay, so now I'm using Lynch. And what we want to do, we want to take the, the value here that is not equal the value that we retrieved here. So for these two things, we are going to, uh, to execute this lambda here. So where s not equals culture request culture, uh, culture, and name. And now here we have to f uh, call first or default or just first. And uh, we have four, maybe the brackets, okay. So I'm missing brackets here. Again. Still one. Okay, not all. Okay, of course, I have to return an action result. So here I'm just redirecting the user to the to the index page. Of course, in a real application, you have to do something more sophisticated here, by example, uh, becoming the, the redirect URI over the query parameter and then make a, a local redirect. Yeah. So now it should work. Let's have a look. Okay, greeting. That's that's not okay. So maybe I have to just maybe the changes to the index files were installed. Okay. Now welcome to our app. We have this. If we navigate to the culture controller, 
we come back and see the, the change culture and I can show you the cookie too real quick cookies we see uh, these are just cookies that I created uh, in another application but this is the, the real cookie but now we want to just uh, enhance it a little bit public void configure uh, yeah configure culture just ugly written uh, but I think you can so inject navigation manager nav here we just navigate nav I uh, just navigate to culture now here I give it a true as an argument meaning that it has to to make a reload and uh, I have to create also a button real quick change culture Okay, I've misspelled culture. So I know this video is not going to win a, in a in a con in a contest. Uh, but yeah, the application works, and we are setting the cookie. Thank you very much for your attention.